Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to have another OpenSense firewall video. Yes, uh, a few videos back I did a, a, a video on OpenSense and Zen Armor, and that video was great, but uh, I ran into a few little issues. Uh, first of all, that hardware that I was using was the old uh, AMD embedded APU from PC, PC Engines, which is a, 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 a underpowered uh hardware to really do what I wanted to do. And it just couldn't couldn't handle the Zen armor. Plus honestly it really couldn't even handle the uh the that connection that I was coming in anyway. So I needed to upgrade it. So I went through and I've upgraded that hardware and I have a new PF or a new OpenSense installed. And I want to go through Zen Armor again and show you how that works because uh the first hardware just didn't have enough horsepower to really get that done. So let's get started and I will show you that. Here we have my OpenSense. All right, so here's my OpenSense hardware. And as you can see, this is a uh, a J4125 quad core processor. So it is definitely more powerful than that previous one. And so we're going to go ahead and get Armor set up here. And uh, this guy is, uh, it has the 2.5 uh, gigahertz uh, WAN connection connected to it. So uh, uh, that'll be, Good, we got enough power to go through this. We'll see how Zenomer sets up. So the first things first, what you need to do is go over here to system and firmware and go to plugin, right? So here you are in the plugins. Give that just a second because it's going to have to populate that stuff. And what we're going to do, search for it, open. So what you're going to search here for is Sunny Valley. So here is OS Sunny Valleys. You can type that in. But anyway, this is what you need. This is the repository. You can go ahead and click that plus and install. And that's going to take just a moment to get that up and running. Okay, so once that's installed, you're going to go back over here to plugins and then you're going to type in OS desk S E N. So they'll give you this Cincy stuff. And you're going to have these items right here. All right? So we've got Cincy agent and updater, right? So first things first, let's go ahead and click on this first one and install it. Click install. And that's going to take a minute. It's going to go get all the packages and install those. And once that's done, we'll come back to this. Okay, so that's done. We'll go back over here to plugins one more time. And you will notice that that not only did it install this first one, but it also installed the updater. Now, we're going to go ahead and install the agent also. And that will allow us to connect this firewall to uh, their cloud management portal. So we'll go ahead and click the plus over on that guy. Go ahead and install that and then wait just a moment. It's going to do its thing. Boom, that's done. All right. So now that that's installed, let's just go over here to status. We're just going to click updates just to check to make sure that we have all the updates and there aren't anything items that need to be installed. And that is good since we know updates because I already updated this right before this video. So let's go over here and click on lobby and dashboard. And as soon as you do that, you're going to notice that Zen Armor shows up here in the column, right? So we'll give it just a minute. It's it's probably it's it's catching up and doing all these things. We're going to see what happens here. So here we have it. Now we've got that installed. We're going to go ahead down here and click on Zen Armor. So you've got a couple items in here. If we go ahead and click on dashboard, it's going to bring us to this first thing where we're going to be able to do a wizard, right? So the wizard is going to kind of walk us through the initial configuration and all that good stuff. So we're going to check this box in the case that you read the, the terms and services. Go read those so you know what you're getting into and then click proceed. Right. So that's going to give it a minute. It's going to check your CPU, your model and see where this uh, firewall stands as far as uh, performance is concerned. Great. So here we have it. Your hardware looks great according to this. Now, you got a green bubble for the eight gigs of RAM, and then I've got a little bit of an orange bubble for our CPU, which means that it really wants more powerful than this. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be just fine. So go ahead and click on the reporting database. So you can install local uh, Elasticsearch, MongoDB remote, or use uh, local SQL Lite, SQL Lite. So we're gonna just go leave the default. We're gonna hit install and proceed. That's gonna go and it's going to download MongoDB and install that on. So there we are. We're green. And I love the color coding on all this stuff. So it lets you know how you're doing. All right. So here 
we're going to go ahead and leave this routed. And now down here at the bottom, we're going to go ahead and we got to add in our lands. If you have multiple lands here, VLANs or whatever, you would want to add those in here. Uh, you can come back later and change these if necessary. We're going to leave this in the layer three routed mode and then click next. Now, here we go. Uh, we can clear the cache if you need to and some of these other things, local domains. If you have a local domain, you can enter that in here. And what fits you as far as the, the cloud reputation, you know, central US, eastern US, western, so on and so forth. Um, this will give you their cloud servers that you want to choose. Okay, go ahead and we're going to next on through that here. So here's where we have deployment size. What what size of a machine are you? Is it home, small, small two, medium, medium two, large, so on and so forth. And this is basically uh, the total number of concurrent users. Uh, they've pre-selected medium for me, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at that. Um, and your needs may vary. And then here's where you can sign up for a free trial, or you already have a subscription, you can put a key in, or you can use the free version. We're going to go ahead and use the get the free version. And you can put your name in here if you want to get uh, newsletters and stuff like that. I've already done this stuff before. So we're just going to go ahead next and hit finish. And it's going to run through its thing and bang, bang, boom. Technically, Zen Armor is up and running and doing its thing for you now. But we're going to do a little bit more configuration. So dismiss this. It says, oh, hey, this is our trial. Uh, dismiss this. Um, if you want to go through there, uh, we're going to dismiss that too. And then there's a database update. Let's go ahead and do that. One of the things I just point out, you can you can check for updates on the engine and the app rules and all this stuff right here on this first status page. And then I want to point out also that this this cloud agent is set to stop right now. We're going to come back to that, but let's go over to policies real quick and take a look at that. So you have one default policy with the free version. If you need multiple policies, you're going to go ahead and upgrade to that subscription version, uh, which you may want to do. Let's go. Let's go and edit this guy first. On the security tab, on the left-hand column here, you have the essential stuff. Flip on any one of these that you want to use. Now, if you go over here to this advanced side, you're going to say, oops, doubled upon a, a premium feature. So you can't really use any of those on this advanced side without having a subscription, right? So, you know, let's let's see. We want to, what do we want to block? Uh, uh, anything in particular here? Um, You've got malware activity, you can do that. Phishing servers, you wanna do that. Spam sites, hacking sites, parked domains, potentially dangerous sites. You click on this little here, or you click on the full help, and it, or let me do it on the other side here. You click on the full help and you might get some information, but over here you definitely get some information uh, on how that works. Now, I'm just gonna turn those two things on and then we're going to save changes and go over to the app side, right? So the app side here, we have all these things, everything checked you can have, right? And this is ad blockers, all these things here. Um, check so you can hit that right there. Decide to toggle these any way you want. Boom, boom, boom. And you have all these things, all right? And then we're going to go over to the next tab, which is web web controls. And you've got all these things permissive. So we're we're going to allow all these things here. And this that's the default. Now, if you want to be a little bit more jolly, you can click over moderate. And it'll click on these ad trackers, adult advertising, some of these things like this, right? So you choose what fits you. Go ahead and save that out. And then we'll go over to exclusion. So you have whitelists and blacklists here. So if you have specific domains that you need to whitelist or blacklist, this is the place to do it. So uh, if, if anything gets caught, um, you may want to put something in here later. Uh, if you if you get yourself blocked from something accidentally, you need to open something up or you need to specifically block something. So check that out. All right. So then we're just going to hit save changes and you're up and running, right? So I didn't really make much changes there. Go to the dashboard. Now we're going to go over here and see how we've got all these things that are 
these wonderful graphs, right? This is pretty cool stuff, right? Love it. All right, so we're gonna go back to status. We're gonna start the cloud management engine. So then we go over here and enable cloud management, register in a cloud portal, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. That's gonna want you to log in and then you wanna name your node, right? So add this firewall and so boom and then all that information is in there uh you can do a bunch of get all the things that are in this portal for you okay all right so there you have it that is zen server or zen armor set up on this new machine i'm going to run this for a while and make sure that this hardware handles this load uh like i said my old one didn't 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 handle it well uh so i had to flip it off and I needed to upgrade that anyway because it was uh, just not enough horsepower for what I needed in the first place. So join me next time with a, maybe an update on this to see how it went. Uh, if you have any questions about Zen Armor or OpenSense, go ahead and drop those comments in here. I'll be happy to answer what I can. Maybe I'll even make a video on the subject. We'll see you next time.